In this video, I'll be removing front bumper cover on a 2003 Mazda MPV. Watch this video till the end as you will find this video helpful if you want to do some work behind the front bumper on your van. This video will save you time and you won't be wondering where to start and what to do. So let's get started. So there is a board here, 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 and uh, I'll have to unscrew from the side and possibly there is some bolts here on both hands. So I'll spray some WD-40. any penetrating oil and number 10 socket so now we we'll remove the side screws these are probably number 8 they go here this on both hands. As you can see, this cover is removed now. So I'll do the same thing on the other side. The other side is also removed. It's here, if you want to see, the next thing to do is to from the side skirt. Next thing to do is to remove this screw for the fender liner. These are plastic ones, two, three, so three on each side, no four actually, there's one at the bottom too, so four on each side. So I turn the wheel to the left to get better access to these plastic screws. So to remove these ones, you need the Phillips screwdriver, turn it. So if you look at this, this, the center part has to come out and then so but the whole thing is turning. So I'm just going to pry it out. So as you can see the center part is a little bit out. I had to hold this to get the center part out. Once it's a little bit out, you can just pull it. And it should come easily. And it should come out easily. There you go. So that's the technique. So I'll remove all these screws on both sides. So I've removed both sides. of the fender liners. The next thing to do is uh, another bolt here that I need to remove and it's on both ends right at the corner of this fender so it's right there if you can see this is the one So it was number 8 socket for that and after removing this screw you can see the bumper if you pull it it starts coming out but still we have to remove this cover so for this cover is one two three and four
I think the whole thing is a part of the bumper. Maybe somehow attached to this grill. Anyway, I will see if I can pull. It's here somewhere, so I'm gonna just hold it, lift it up, and then pull it up. That's it. Basically, there's this hole that was just. Uh, goes here so, and then you just have to lift it up and pull it out so I'll do this on the other side so it's here somewhere so I'm gonna just hold it lift it up and then pull it up that's it and the bumper is off put the bumper back just uh, simply reverse the process Make sure to align these pins with this hole push it in and then align these side holes and put these bolts back Don't tighten them yet. Just put everything else back on. Like this one, as you can see, this thing just go on top and then just tap it in. And then when you put this screw, it will be on. Same thing on this side. Let's make sure it's top. Make sure this thing goes on top of that bracket. Just hit and then there you go. Now put these side so screws, these ones and the bottom ones. And you should be good to go. So everything I've put it back on. Now I will tighten these ones. And don't forget to put this these uh, bottom screws. And in the center there is one on that side let me know in the comment if you found this video helpful if you do don't forget to hit the like button and if you are new to this channel please subscribe thank you for watching